Okay, welcome to this aspect of LinkedIn. Uh, hopefully you've been able to have a chance to look at the different videos that were tutorial sections for this produced by LinkedIn. They were YouTube videos. If you hadn't, please go back to the career development website or the tutorial section uh, and make sure that you watch those first. Uh, again, it's really to help you set up your profile very well. Uh, however, within that context, there were definitely some things that were not covered. And today, I want to take a moment to help you understand how to really utilize LinkedIn for job searching, for uh, being able to understand where to find people uh, for your cover letter and addressing it to a specific person, those kinds of things. So uh, you can see right now, uh, we're actually on my profile page. Again, make sure that in your summary and your job, job title, that they're titled for uh, being able to uh, be seen in different searches and online searches. Again, if you are looking to be found by someone out there, whether that's a professional or a headhunter, this is a great way to be able to let that information be out there and to be able to market yourself to a greater audience. Uh, you can see here that my professional experience is in there. And then within each of your professional experiences, if you can get uh, references or recommendations from those folks, it's a great way to, to be able to begin to build your brand out there, uh, to be able to begin to, to connect with other folks. Uh, it also gives you an opportunity to connect with people that you may know. Uh, this is a great way, again, if you know those people, make sure that you reach out to them. Be cautious, however, that if you reach out to too many people at the same time and they all deny you, uh, or if enough of them deny you within a certain period of time, it actually will lock you out of being able to make new connections without having a valid email address. So again, make sure that you're connecting with people who you know will connect with you and making sure that those are done well. The other thing that you can do within the connection of folks, actually, I'm going to go back. I'll, I'll teach you that in a moment. Uh, but there, there are ways to connect. I want to make sure that you know that. The other thing that I would encourage you to do is to come up here to the, the people side of things for, or search for jobs, uh, companies, and people. And if you type in John Brown, John Brown, if I can spell it correctly, University Alumni. And this is an alumni group for John Brown University alumni. This includes you uh, if you're uh, beyond a sophomore level status. Uh, in this group, you can see that we've got about 1,500, almost 1,600 members. Hopefully, it'll be more by the time that you see this. Uh, and it, it gives you an opportunity to post different things on the discussion board. Uh, for some of these, it, it's been personal uh, events or things that alumni are proud about in terms of things that are going on. Uh, for some of them, it's job vacancies that are on there. For some of them, it's even if you're a traditional undergrad student looking for an internship or an opportunity, uh, this allows you to be able to put stuff out there, especially if you're in a location that's not Northwest Arkansas, uh, but are looking to connect with alumni who are out in our, our greater community. The other thing it allows you to do is to actually search for some of those alumni in those other communities. And so if you click on the members tag, it will bring up the membership of this entire group. And you can actually search for folks in maybe Denver. In Denver, Colorado. And this will actually pull up alumni that are connected in some way. Either they've lived in Denver, Colorado, or they're currently residing in Denver, Colorado. Um, and so again, you can see alumni who are connected on that side of it. The other thing that you can do is search by actual companies. And so I know this will give me a good result uh, because of where we live and who we're connected to. Uh, but if you can search for Walmart, all of a sudden you're able to pull up all the people that are connected on this alumni group, at least, uh, who are also connected at some level with Walmart. Um, these are alumni, by and large, who have said, we are willing to help you out as JBU students, uh, both in the MBA and graduate programs, as well as traditional undergrad, to help you find opportunities in our area, in our field, we're willing to help you uh, connect with different professionals out there. Uh, for some of you who are looking at changing industry, I would encourage you to do an informational interview with some of these folks. Uh, again, if you're looking for someone specific in a specific industry, uh, reach out to them and say, could I do an informational interview with you? 
uh, in that interview, uh, again, ask them really good questions about what it is that they do, how they do it, why they do it, and really use that as an opportunity uh, to demonstrate your eagerness to break into the industry, whatever that industry happens to be. Uh, and again, utilize that network out there uh, to help propel your job search along in that process. So that's one way to look. Another way to look is to actually type in here by companies and to search by those companies. So if I type in Walmart again, in the company section, I see that there's a retail one. This is what I'm looking for. And if I open that up, it allows me to know how many people are following it. Again, if you're looking for a job in a specific company, this is a great way to follow it. And then this end up, ends up appearing in your newsfeed in LinkedIn. Uh, so any jobs that they post, I know Nestle Pre Arena, Walmart, Tyson, uh, some of those companies are really actively recruiting with LinkedIn. And so if you follow them, anytime that they post a job or a new article or something about their company, this is a great way to find out that information. Also, it gives you recent updates, job alerts, uh, as well as certain things that they're doing uh, through LinkedIn as well as in the company. So again, when you go in for an interview, this is a great resource to help give you information about what the company has been doing lately, uh, things that you might be interested in. It also gives you an opportunity to see other companies that people view when they view that specific company. So people who viewed Walmart have also looked at Target, Nestle, Google, PepsiCo, uh, Unilever, and LinkedIn. Another thing that's really helpful within this is, again, when you go to write a cover letter, part of your connection in a cover letter is to understand who it is in the company uh, that you need to address that cover letter to, ideally a hiring manager of some kind uh, within the division or unit or group that you're trying to apply for. LinkedIn is a great way to find that. Uh, one of the other things that's really helpful with this is to be able to understand who might be able to pass your resume along on the, the backside. So you always have to apply on the company website. That's the number one uh, best practice because every company requires all their applicants to go through the same pipeline. Human resources is requiring that legally now. And so you definitely need to apply through the company job board, but please use your connections. Uh, LinkedIn is a great way to develop those connections and to work through those people who you're connected to to resource your re resume on the back side. So again, these are all people that I'm connected to in my first degree. I've also got 5,000 people in Walmart I'm connected to in my second degree. And so let me show you how you can utilize that. Uh, within the second degree, it gives you also things that you can search for. So if I wanted to really limit those results, I could start crossing out some of these and it would also limit uh, the results. I also can search over here on this side uh, for other ways that I'm connected to folks who work for Walmart. Uh, but say that I, I wanted to uh, uh, connect with uh, Annie Mung. Uh, she's in my second degree. What I can do is go over here and let me scroll down a little bit, but go over here to the connect. I, if I knew her or thought that she probably would make a connection with me, I would say connect directly. And that's a great way to do that. However, I don't know Annie Mung very well. Um, actually, I don't know her at all. Uh, she works in the San Francisco office. And so what I would do as a part of that is to say, get introduced. And if I click on the get introduced button, it allows me to choose who my connection is that I do know and because they're in my first section uh, or first connections. And so Jacob Little happens to be my first one. I could click on Jacob Little and then I need to write a good paragraph to Jacob saying, Jacob, uh, dear Jacob, I'm interested in meeting uh, Miss Ann Mung. Uh, is there any way that you would be willing to make a connection for me? And again, really utilizing that to build out your connections for those people that you need to be connected with. Um, again, these could be potentials for people who might hire you. It could be people who could get you networked within the, uh, the organization at a larger level. Uh, but again, it, it gives you an opportunity to connect uh, with folks, uh, again, that you wouldn't necessarily even run into face-to-face -face or at a meeting, a networking meeting, uh, but helps you to expand that network. And again, I would really encourage you for sure, first apply online, uh, but then find ways that you're connected to some of those people uh, for those positions or same kinds of positions or titles of those positions uh, by going through LinkedIn. The other thing I want to introduce you to is searching on the job side of things. Um, this is great. Again, some of you are going to look for international opportunities. Um, so let's look for um, uh, uh, well, let me try project managers because that would apply to many of you. 
And so if you we're gonna leave the page. If you apply for project manager positions that are out there, again, you can search by title, you can search by company, uh, you can search by the location of those things. Uh, and again, there's a project manager is something out there a lot uh, that a lot of folks are in. Um, and that there are a lot of jobs that are posted. Uh, even within this context, I would encourage some of you, if you are thinking internationally, um, so if I'm thinking I really want an opportunity in the Mexico City area, that's not going to give me a result, of course. Uh, but again, thinking internationally, uh, this is a great way to look for opportunities that are international. Uh, I know if speaking, if you're an engineering major, uh, if you are another major, even besides business, uh, that I would really encourage you to use this as a way to, to search for the, the jobs that you're interested in pursuing. Um, and again, oftentimes, uh, even though today I didn't find any in Mexico, that doesn't mean that tomorrow I won't. I also know that LinkedIn is really hitting a global impact right now. Uh, and so be prepared that this really is the wave of looking at jobs, of internships, of being connected internationally. Uh, so I would encourage you guys to, to continue to, to check back with this, uh, this job search side of things. So again, the companies will list jobs here. They pay to do that, uh, but it's another great way to, to get involved. Uh, again, when you go in and connect with an employer, when you connect with someone who is an alumni connection, my challenge to you is to make sure that you follow up with that. Uh, make sure that if they respond back to you by posting something on our JBU alumni discussion board, uh, that you're ready to uh, respond to that quickly uh, and that you guys interact well. Also, I'd encourage you to, all to become members of that alumni group uh, so that as other students graduate down the road, maybe five years or 10 years from now, you may be doing a job or in an occupation that they really desire to enter into. And this is a great way to connect back with the JBU community. So again, I would encourage you to use this well and uh, use this as a great resource for jobs, internships, uh, even switching careers out there. Thanks and have a great day.